What's going on YouTube? So I'm saying bringing you a review today on the Lush RDA by Watofo. And Watofo's just killing it right now, man. They always got all these RDAs coming out and they sell like hotcakes. They're all vape budget friendly. Up here is a list of all the specs. Feel free to pause the video if you so wish. But Anyways, guys, we will go back down to FaceTime. I will show you guys all the ins and outs of this device. Hopefully be able to give you guys a little bit more of a perspective and whether you guys should pick this one up or not. Without further ado, without me talking about it anymore, I say we just dive down, get up close to it, tear it all apart, and I can show you guys everything that comes with it. Hey, we'll come back to FaceTime and we'll talk vape on it and all that now. All right, guys, here we are up close. This is the box that the Lush comes in. It does tell you the color right here. All right, let's open her up. Get a nice little Lush card here, just pretty basic. Manufactured by Wotofo. It does tell you step one. The O-rings do not come on the deck when you get it. You will have to install those yourself. You know, do definitely make sure you guys put liquid on the O-rings because they are pretty snug. Tells you what all you get in here. You get the Lush RDA, the 510 drip tip and an adapter, the deck, and the broad cap. Also O-rings, screws, and a screwdriver. All right, here's your little bag of goodies, extra grub nuts, extra o-rings, and goodbye little blue screwdriver. I absolutely love this thing right here that they give you. You can see it's a little three-headed tool, Phillips head screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, Allen key, smaller Allen key, and the one that will go with this device. Nice little, nice little thing. I've been using this pretty frequently. And here is the place to reach this down. The Lush. As you can tell, the airflow holes, they go in at an angle. They don't go directly in, they go in at an angle. Silver plated. 510 as you can see no o-rings took mine off just for purposes of this video nice nice deep deep juice juice mill I think it's about 10 millimeters deep deck milled cutaways that we can put cotton up under the negative post here square pink peak insulator Two millimeter post holes so you guys can get some pretty nice builds up in there nice little grub nuts and now how the airflow works on this turn this little top cap it closes it off at an angle I don't know if you guys can see it it's all the way open halfway open Closed off. Both sides is going to be the exact same. But here you go. You can pop the airflow out. Just sits up in there. See how it kind of closes it off at an angle. Definitely be careful with this when you take this out. It does have sharp edges. Definitely will easily cut you. So be war be war wary about that. All right. So pop it back on there and there we go this is a 12 millimeter broad cap definitely definitely make sure you put juice on this thing because it is definitely snug pain in the ass to get out you also get your 510 adapter along with a stainless steel little drip tip here that way you can use whatever drip tip you prefer I personally just roll with the broad cap, but that's that. That's the Lush RDA. Alright guys, that was my ins and outs of the video of 
the Lush RDA by Watofo. I will leave a link in the description on where you can get one of these things. They are about 30 bucks, so hey man, you don't need your vape budget hands and you get a great RDA out of the situation. Well, not really out of the situation, but out of the deal. Now, these guys are actually always coming out with RDAs. They are constantly coming out with ones and they're all vape budget friendly. So definitely, definitely check these guys out. If you haven't, then I highly suggest this, especially if you don't have the budget for all these high-end RDAs that are $100, even though $100 is a little crazy, right? So without further ado, guys, and that was my ins and outs, I'll tell you my perspective. I've actually really enjoyed the device. I haven't had any, all that many issues with it leaking. I haven't had no problems with the grub nuts. I love how deep the juice well is. I actually love this thing altogether. I do have my cons with the, the top piece, man, and how sharp it is and at the slants. Now, I, the chuff cap, I had troubles getting it off. I could not get it off. I went to VapeCon. I was trying to buy a drip tip, see if I could find a drip tip that would possibly fit in it. So I was trying my best and I actually had to get tools to get it out. So it was just a hassle and I didn't even get a drip tip. Didn't have one that fit. But that is my only pro or my only cons about this device. Other than that, I absolutely love the Lush by Watofo. You guys definitely check them out and y'all keep them coils wet, alright?